All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis 4, where we are playing in the Common Sense DLC as Norway now. Since the recent update or patch of the game a couple of days ago killed my save game for the Palatinate. It completely broke it. I can't even get into it now. It crashes the game. So, we've decided to play as Norway, and I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot in this game. But yeah, I've never played a country that's in a personal union before. So we just got to get our liberty desire up to up to a point where we can break free. So that is what we're shooting for. We need to we need to get this up. Need to get this number up and then hopefully break away. I also want to start a colony game on this one. Start going into Greenland and North America, over into Canada, etc. I think it'll be good. But for right now, we have a loan to pay off, which, ah, God. I keep going back and forth if I should repay the loan or build more ships. I'm thinking I should repay the loan because if I do build more ships, I probably will default on the loan because I have a year left to pay it off. Because we are basically in 1449 now. So. So. Oh, yeah, and we also had a peasant uprising. Thank you, Gorknack, for reminding me of that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, let's actually take care of this loan right now. I know Skrin in the chat is not going to be happy with me. Uh, we're going to pay that off. There we go. And then, what money we get is going to go towards new ships. And we will actually have to wait a while for that. <laughs> but we've gotten... Oh, my God, they took more money. That means another freaking loan. Oh my god, I hate you, Denmark. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> and we just, we just paid the loan back. <laughs> Why didn't I wait like five seconds? Oh my god, I'm so mad. Well, now I'm building more ships. Okay. <laughs> 16, okay, I can build one. Or no, I can build two, I can build two. No, no, I can only build one. My god, I, my math is failing me right now. <laughs> the one thing I'm good at. Now, we gotta wait like another month before we can buy sh uh, multiple ships. There we go, I'll build them over here. And here. And now we're at zero monies. I probably should have waited another month. With my luck, we're gonna take another loan. <laughs> oh my god, we're just at zero. <laughs> We have 0.9 of a ducat. <laughs> We're golden, guys. We're good. We're gonna be okay. Oh my god, I can't believe that event popped. Screw you, Denmark. Ah. Uh, actually, don't screw you, because I actually really like your country, and I'm hoping to visit Copenhagen next year. So, um, love me. Accept me. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that trip. It'll be fun. But yes, for now. For now, though. Damn you, Denmark. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is this is going to be a lot more waiting than I expected. Um boy, it's back to the waiting of the Palatinate again. <laughs> Cuz I can't even start a war with someone to gain new territory cuz I can't declare my own wars cuz I'm in a personal union. But at least we've made friends with Sweden. We're happy as a... Cl they have a Cassus Belli against me. You son of a bit. What do you have a Cassus Belli for? Reconquest. Really? Really? Damn you, Sweden. I thought we were bros. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Can we do anything to screw with them? <laughs> <laughs> Send insult. I still kind of want to do that just to see. But with my luck, immediately after I do that, it's going to go, we're taking more money from you. Ah, son of a... <laughs> Can we do covert act? Oh my god, support rebels. Oh, we don't have the money to support rebels. Nope. Let's just close that bar. Yeah, I've got really nothing I can do with them. Hmm. Oh, well, say la vie. What are you going to do? <laughs> Yes, yeah, very true, Immortal. At least I'm not in the HRE anymore. Such a true fact right there. Oh my god, I don't think I'll ever play in the HRE again. That was just hell. I mean, just look at all these tiny little countries. The web of alliances and wars that could possibly happen is just insane. 
It's why I've always... I think that may be why I've always played in other parts of the world, which is kind of amusing considering the game is Europa Universalis, and I rarely ever play in Europe. <laughs> And we're trying to get out of Europe with Norway. We're wanting to go to America. <laughs> oh, boy. And our primary target is going to be Sweden, Gorgnak. Because that's who our personal union is with. We need, to, we need to break that. So that we can then be independent. And I'm hoping Sweden will forgive me of their reconquest ideas that they have. I will give you the land. Is, is it this you want? Is it... John... Jumped land? Oh, God, I am going to butcher all the names of these places. Scandinavia, I love you, but you're... 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 You're spelling. It's just... <laughs> for someone who's spoken English most of their life, it's a... It's a painful thing. <laughs> oh, I love you, though. I love you. All right, let's combine them. Send you to the North Sea as well. I actually should try and learn a little bit of some of the languages over here, since I am hoping to travel there more in the coming years. Hmm. Should probably start with, uh, Danish. That'd probably be a good plan, since I am going to, since the Copenhagen plan for next year. But, hmm. That'll go well. <laughs> oh, the pronunciation. Oh, did I say Sweden instead of Denmark? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. My, I'm just in, just completely miscombobulated at the moment with what all is going on. Recall our diplomat from Novgorod. Oh, oh my god, I have not been paying attention to over here. Occupied by Muscovy. Well, my diplomat in Novgorod was a waste of time. <laughs> oh my god, they've taken everything. Well, granted, they're gigantic provinces. Oh, boy. Influenza. Lovely. Okay. Well, of course we need to quarantine. Oh, God. Why did I pick Norway? <laughs> yes, quarantine them and let them die. Sad truth, but it must be done. Can't let the flu spread in this time of the world. That'd be bad. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you, Mr... Sine, Sinus, whatever, however you pronounce your name, I am butchering the names of Norway. <laughs> oh, God. Like I've said many, many times before, if it's English, French, or Italian, I can pronounce those. Those are the three languages I can speak. Anything outside of that, nope, nope, doesn't work. <laughs> My tongue just doesn't know what to do. It just goes in circles, and it's horrible. Oh my god, catch up, you little two-person fleet, so you two can... Oh god, ha unhappiness among the clergy. Why is everyone unhappy with me? Well, I'm going to ignore their demands, because I want the prestige. Yay, we have positive prestige now. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. This is so disappointing. I spent all that time with a diplomat in Novgorod. <laughs> um... Livonian Order, you want to be friends? Let's send some improved relation diplomats over there. Lithuania, you, uh, you have no water access at the moment. At the moment. I'm sure they will in time, but for now, for now. Holstein, maybe we can make friends with you? No, no, you probably wouldn't be worth it. I'll keep one diplomat in my pocket for the time being. Scotland, man. You screwed. Okay. How many troops can I build? That is a good question, Ace Immortal. Eight. I can't afford eight troops. <laughs> I could build them. All right, let's make another ship. We're at the 16 mark. Actually, I'm going to wait until it gets to 20. Oh, my God, and I just remembered we have another freaking loan. <laughs> well, we got three years to pay that one off. We're good. Uh, bu 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 bum. Trade is getting better. Still, the only 0.36. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, we, uh... We need lots of money. How am I on the tech front? 
All right, we almost have admin four, so that's good. Oh god, that we gotta get to five before we can take ideas. And now I'm also wondering if I should take. I, I really want to take exploration ideas because I do want to move over to the new world quick. But at the same time, we can't really afford to colonize. <laughs> we don't have the money. So I, I don't know. Maybe I should take economic ideas or something along those lines. But for now, we do need to get our tech up. Yay, we can build temples now. Well, not with that development. I should actually probably develop my province a little bit better. Let's... No, oh, can't do the admin one. Production might be good. Manpower is always useful. 80 military power. You know what? No, I actually want the tech for right now. Hmm. And Gorgnak, if Sweden joins us in our glorious rebellion down the road, yes, we would have access. But if they decide to join Denmark, no. No, we would not have access. <laughs> and Skrin, I can't afford a war fleet right now. Are you kidding me? It's just... It's just bad. <laughs> we have no money. Okay, let's build another ship now. We've got a little bit of cash leeway. Why did I click there? I meant to click here. Another bark. 354 there. Court painter available. Well, I can't afford him. Son of a bit. Why do these things keep popping up? Before or at right after I spend money. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm kind of interested to still take it. I mean, we'd get another loan. But. Stability. Stability. <laughs> stability is a glorious thing. And I could use a plus one. And we could always reel ourselves back from the loan. Yeah, let's do it. Screw it. Hire him. Stability is a beautiful thing, and a little bit of prestige also helps a tiny, tiny amount. And holy crap, you two catch up with one another and absorb your fleets into yourselves. Oh, boy. And true, guys, true. The earlier you colonize, the more you make down the road. So, yeah, yeah, we will go the exploration ideas early. It's just, oh, boy. We need to start making more money, which, you know, I will make more money with more trade ships. Which, now that we have taken a loan, we can't take more trade ships. Let's wait for it to get to 40, though. I want a little bit of cash leeway in case Denmark decides to take another 10 ducats. Freaking Denmark. <laughs> okay, so. So. So with our trade, oh yeah, we've gone up 0 0.01 of a ducat with our new ships. Hmm. How much of this trade node do we control? A surprising amount. 20% of it. Nice. Nice. That's where we're transferring from, though. You, are you collecting... You're both transferring. Oh, yeah, because you're transferring it to freaking Denmark. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Well, still. Probably the best order of operations for the time being. Yeah, damn you, Denmark. All the trade notes going into you there. Okay. Let's check on Novgorod. Yep, they lost territory. <laughs> oh, Muscovy. You glorious blob of a bastard. Oh, you're going to be big. You're always big. Oh, that's actually something I was actually meaning to turn off for this game. I was going to... or I was thinking of turning off the... Uh, historical preference or not historical the historical bonus so that it might be a little bit more interesting in Europe but I completely forgot to do that when we started this new game ah damn it man eh, oh well what are you gonna do 
Hmm? And what are you talking about? Oh, the trade thing. <laughs> yes, in chat over there, they're screaming that I lost a province to Denmark. Because it does look like I lost one to Denmark if I'm on the trade menu. Because of this, it's all the same color, because that's their trade note. Um, but no, no, that's, that's, the, that's the trade menu. Don't worry, that made my heart sink earlier, too, when I looked at that. I didn't mention it, though, because it's like, you know, if I mention it, people are going to be like, oh, oh, Kodobos. <laughs> Alright, you, North Sea as well. Go and combine with your brethren. Why are you all not combining with your brethren? Seriously, you just passed one another. You guys are supposed to absorb into each other. Oh my freaking crap. I'm I need to Oh, that's going to bother me. <laughs> I need all of them. All right, we're going to have to break up our trade real quick because they just don't seem to want to absorb with one another. Which actually hold on pause. No, that's just one of them still. Okay, we're It's only two of my navies. Where's the third? No, I got the land, guys. Oh, see, they combined? Oh, for God's sakes, I'm just going to let them roll. <laughs> Our military leader already freaking died? What the hell? <laughs> Why? Why does this game not like me? All right, Diplotech. There we go. Beautiful. Prove our prestige. Yeah, none of those missions are good. Okay, let's build more ships. Actually, we need to pay back a loan. We don't have long until that is a thing. Because, yes, yeah, so you, you are going to pop soon. Yeah, we'll pay you back. Oh god, now we're down to nine. Denmark, don't take any of my money, you bastard. You did it last time. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Gonna be a lot of waiting in this one. How are all of you? <laughs> well, I hope. Alrighty. Burgundy's quite large right now. France still holding together. They're doing better than they were in my uh, Palatinate playthrough. Those poor bastards. Oh, an heir to the throne. Beautiful. Succession is safe. Oh, God, was it not safe before? Apparently not. But now we have a pretty good heir, too. Four, five, six. That's quite nice. Glorious. Glorious. How is our economy doing at the moment? Ooh, good. We're up to 0. 0.4 on trade. Still not even making a full ducat a month, though. Oh, God, what? Wait. Sweden declared war upon their enemy, Denmark. They cite independence. Wait, what? Our people are losing confidence in your government, leading to a stability drop. Some superstitious fools even suggest the country is losing divine favor. So, wait. Why did we get the st- what? I don't understand why this popped. Is it because Sweden declared war on Denmark? I don't- I don't understand. <laughs> well, we're at war with Denmark now. <laughs> huh. Are we at war with Denmark now? Yeah, we're at war with Denmark now. Swedish War for Independence. Well, we're screwed, guys. We're screwed. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we're at war. Olaf V. Bile, our new ruler. Wait, why is he our new ruler? Didn't we just get an heir? I'm confused. I am so confused. Oh, thank you, chat. Thank you. Because we're technically fighting for our independence now, we we technically don't have a king because our king was, of course, Denmark. 
that did just it didn't even cross my mind. Again, never played a personal union country before, so <laughs> that thought didn't even pop into my head. Okay, okay, that makes complete sense. Thank you, thank you. War taxes, we need to do that now. <laughs> oh god, yes, take the war taxes. I gotta put my military maintenance up. Oh my god, slide you bastard, slide, why aren't you sliding? There we go. I need to get my navies back. <laughs> Where's me ships? All right, you guys. Meet here. They seem to only have a two fleet at the moment. Let's unpause. Oh god, I need a new leader as well. Hold on. Pause again. Uh, we could make our king. That might be... Oh, what is his stats? Foreign military. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. it. It means we're more likely to have him die, but oh well. Yes, I know. Oh, God, he's not that great of a commander. <laughs> well, crap. So, who all is fighting with us? Scotland has joined. Oh, Scotland, yay. <laughs> and Denmark and Lithuania. Balls. Lithuania's big. Real big. Oh, God. Well, this is going to be painful. I need you two to combine. And that fleet will kill us. Well, you're going into port. <laughs> I will not. I refuse to lose my ships. I actually go to a port slightly farther away. Yes, yes, do that. <laughs> We're going to need it. Oh, my God. Sweden actually has a good fleet. Holy crap. <laughs> and at least Poland didn't join. A very good point, my friends. Well, they're just allied with Poland. Denmark only has the alliance of Lithuania. So that's at least a plus for us this time. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it looks like Norway is actually going to do pretty well over here. Hmm. And Scotland? Excellent. He's not at war with England at the same time. Oh, no, they lost a province. Venetian soldiers? What? <laughs> Why are there Venetian soldiers in England? I am confused and okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Okay. So we we are now free. England. Want, want to be friends? <laughs> No, no. We can't do that at wartime. Okay, let's unpause. See how things go. Oh, uh, Norway has a much... Uh, they've got a good fleet. I'm thinking maybe I should move my ships in to help. Oh my god, look at that admiral they've got, though. My fleet would be destroyed. Hmm. Huh. I'm thinking I should help, though, with my ships. It's It's... What we need? I mean, hmm. Let's at least get closer. We may jump into this battle if they join. Norway seems to have pulled their ships back. So I'm going to do the same. Denmark has a 10 stack. That's not good. Oh, God. I should also probably turn back on this. All right. I'm going to leave this one off because meh. <laughs> Uh, but this one probably be a good one to put on, and I'm actually going to pull my soldiers back for the moment. Oh, maybe not. Because they're going to attack there. Yeah, let's go help our brothers. Join the fight. Because right now, Sweden actually looks like they're going to lose that fight. Looks like they're getting a few reinforcements, though. We might get it. We might get it. They lost. Maybe we can win, but we won! <laughs> oh my god, and we stack wiped them. Beautiful. Oh god, there's their fleet. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna pull my soldiers back now. <laughs> yeah, let's go back here. <laughs> okay, Sweden's fleet is coming out here, though, so maybe... We pull our ships out. Oh god, that's an in inner waterway, though, so my ships aren't gonna be as effective, but I still, though... It'll help. 
Uh, ignore their demands. Oh boy, and it's actually also almost time to leave this episode. Looks like we're winning that naval battle. Which is good. Oh my god, we won. We won. <laughs> and I didn't lose any ships. Yay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Whew. And yes, I know Ace Immortal, I have these ships up here. It is One of them is a heavy, which would be good to pull out right now. So I, I've just kind of been keeping it back, though, because of all the other cogs. But the heavy is a fair point. We probably should bring that one out of being mothballed. Problem is, it needs to get repaired before it's going to be of any use to us. Huh. And I think... We may keep our fleet here. Was that blockade? Well, it only blockade... No, no, actually. It's not going to blockade that. We need to put our ships here. Perhaps we should do that. Because then De Denmark can't send any more ships in. Let's do that. Yes. Yes. All right. And actually, with that... Yeah, they can't move any more ships, so we can go and destroy what few troops they do have here. We can crush them. Crush them good? Okay. Okay, and I think that's a perfect place to end it. We're actually doing well. <laughs> so, oh god, and I get a cough right at the end there. I apologize. Uh, but yes, we're actually doing well. We can go and destroy that one stack. And then we have free range to go and plunder these provinces. Now, their fleet is going to repair here, which worries me. But the Swedish fleet is also repairing. So hopefully, whenever that occurs, we can, you know, wreck house together once again. But yes, for now, I can hold back the tide of enemy ships. And only one of my vessels is damaged. Okay, we may be free of Denmark tyranny, I guess. <laughs> Much sooner than I anticipated. But okay, so yes, that is going to be it for this week's stream. Uh, if you missed any of tonight's stream, you can catch it on my YouTube channel, Kotobos Games. And of course, for those of you watching on YouTube after the fact, come and join us next weekend, Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern, for the next week's stream. I would love to have you all here. I always enjoy seeing you all and interacting with you in the chat. So, I hope you have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.